Hello, everybody. It's Tim here again. Here's my review for Iron Scared Stupid. Just to whip this DVD out here. I like this cover. Film stars uh, Jim Barney, once again, obviously, as Ernest. Directed by John Cherry. Okay. Just to jump into this film. I haven't seen this film in a long time. It's been forever, so it's been it's been forever. Watching it today is the first time I've watched it in the last couple I don't know how many friggin' years. But um Oops, well I've dropped it. <laughs> but just to go into how what I thought about this film, I'll go ahead and give a rating for this film. I'll give this film a two and a half stars out of a possible four. Um this is a decent film, not a bad film, and I do enjoy this film and I do like this film even. But yes, this is a decent film. It's not as good as Iron Saves Christmas. Better than Ernest Goes to Jail, and it's also uh, better than Ernest, um, fucking, Ernest uh, Goes to Camp, and it's uh, it's not as good as Dr. Otto and the Real the Gloom Beam, and it's not as good as Ernest Saves Christmas, but it's better than Ernest uh, Goes to Jail and Ernest Goes to Camp. This is, a, this is a decent movie, and it's a fun holiday movie. I definitely recommend watching this on Halloween. It's a fun uh, Halloween treat. It's an entertaining movie. Jim Barney, once again, FNA, he's perfect. You know, fucking A, Jim Varney's perfect once again as Ernest. Um, uh, as far as the rest of the cast goes, the kids in the film. Um, well, pretty, well pretty, what I'm trying to say is pretty much the plot of this film is Ernest teams up with a bunch of little kids to kill a bunch of trolls. Basically, is the plot of this film. It's pretty much the plot. Is, uh, is Ernest versus trolls. But, um... Just to get into my problems I have here with this film. The, ki there's the kids in the film, they're alright, they're fine, but every time they do something heroic, you get like this really cheesy ass theme song, like theme playing, like this big heroic theme. It's cheesy as shit. Um, another thing is like the troll's weakness is milk, and every time the troll runs into earnest, he's like just happens to be next to some milk, and after like the third or fourth time that that happens, I'm like, okay, movie, okay. But, um,. This movie does have some actual creepy parts in it. Um, it has some fun creepy parts in it, like when uh, one of the kids like slips and falls, and he th it's like the trolls like using Ernest's voice, and he thinks it's Ernest going to help him up. And the trolls like, "Hey, I got you!" <laughs> and the kid looks up, and it's the troll, and he like transforms him into a wooden doll, which is a pretty cool, like a uh, little you know charming B movie effect. I like that. Um, I like the whole turning into wooden dolls thing and everything like that. At the beginning of the movie, you got like a Jim Varney playing like a an ancestor of his. He's like I don't know Reverend Reverend uh, Whirl or something like that. <laughs> I just funny to me. And he's like burying the troll in the ground after the troll's been captured. Um, you got Eartha Kitt in this movie. Eartha Kitt's great. Uh, I miss Eartha Kitt. She's uh, God rest her soul. She's fine. Hurt the kid, I miss you. Uh, but yeah, she's charming. She's fun to watch. It's like the the goofy old uh, over the top um, woman who knows everything about the troll, about the troll and magic and all that kind of shit. She's perfect in that type of role. She always has been. She's charming here. There's a funny scene at the end where one of the trolls is like uh, screaming at her, and she starts screaming at it like ah, like right back at it, kind of like that. And uh, it like it actually scares the troll off. I thought that was hilarious. Ernest is pretty as a garbage collector in this film, or garbage man. I mean, um, I think it's funny how he has a different occupation in every single film. But um, one thing pretty much leads to another. Uh, Ernest makes his friends with these kids. He they're getting picked on, of course. Typical, you know movie shit where like we're rooting for the kids because they're getting picked on and they're nice and all that which I'm fine with that but you know the whole pick, kids getting picked on thing and everything like that is just such a cliche I'm like uh but um but anyway Ernest is friends with him and uh, he takes him out into the woods and he, he's trying to make him a tree house and you get like these funny scenes where he's testing each tree and uh, one of them he pecks on like this bird shits all over his face and he's like inhabited <laughs> I thought that was hilarious and they finally find the right tree, and of course it's the same tree that the troll was buried under, you know, years ago. Um, uh, Ernest releases the troll, obviously, which, I mean, it's obvious that he's going to do that, because, well, he's Ernest, he doesn't know any better. 
And so the troll gets released, starts going through town, turning kids into little wooden dolls and making these little eggs on this tree, like these little, I guess Ernest says they're Brussels sprout looking thing. I don't even, I'm not even sure I even know what the fuck a Brussels sprout looks like, but, um, but they're like, uh, baby troll eggs or whatever or something like that. And they're going to turn into like a big army of trolls, which is kind of cool. Uh, one more thing, the opening credits for this film kicks ass. The opening credits is awesome. It's got like Ernest making goofy faces to a bunch of like spliced together old horror movie footage of black and white horror films. Um, I love that. That was great. Like I said, I do like this movie. I do. I like it. It's one of my favorite Ernest films that I've seen so far. But it's a but it's a, still a decent movie. It's a decent movie. But it's a really charming and fun decent movie. Just because a movie's decent doesn't make it bad. I mean, the movie's not amazing or great, but it's decent. It's a really fun, you know, Halloween treat is uh, pretty much what this movie is to me. Definitely a lot of fun for Halloween. And so the troll pretty much wants to, he has to get like five children, I believe, and turn them into wooden dolls. And uh, their souls like feed his um, his pods that the little trolls are in or whatever that they're hatching from the tree. And when the they the seeds get so big, they fall off the tree and hit the ground, and they grow into more trolls. So it's an army of trolls, and that way they can go across the world and capture children everywhere. Okay, you get some funny stuff with Jim Varney in the film, like he uh, when the troll first shows up, and he's all alone in the in the treehouse, and uh, he's like, uh, he's like, uh, he says, uh, don't. Uh, don't mess with me. I know uh, Tai Chi Chow Mein, and uh, I've seen Hulkamania three times and once in slow motion. That shit right there is just hilarious. Uh, that's just re that's just so funny to me. And the way Jim Varney delivers it is is just hilarious. And then you got another, you got Rimshot. You got Rimshot again back in this movie. The cute little dog. Um, I like Rimshot. He's the dog's fine again here. Uh, you got a funny scene where the troll's like attacking Ernest when he's in his truck and the dog's like, the dog actually has to start driving the truck and, uh, he tells him to put it in reverse and the dog does and they <laughs> fucking flatten the troll. I thought that was hilarious. Um, another funny thing is when the troll first starts breaking into the truck, Ernest is in there and, uh, the troll looks at him and goes, you're going to pay for the sins of your forefathers. And Ernest goes, uh, I didn't have forefathers. I just had one and I didn't even know him that well. <laughs> I love that. That's a great Jim Varney delivery. That was that's terrific. Um, um, but basically the kids get took out one by one, and then there's uh one left. Um, he's you get like this kind of sort of little creepy scene where he's like uh, out with his uh this other boy, and they're going to the to the school for a Halloween dance, and uh, he starts hearing like somebody saying his name, and he thinks it's the other the girl that he likes, Elizabeth. The one that also the troll has took already, and then he looks behind him, and it's like it's like the troll using her voice saying his name, you know, Kenny. His name, the character's name is Kenny. It's saying his name in a really creepy voice, and then he turns around, and looks behind him, and the other kid has been like turned into a wooden doll by the by the troll, and the troll's like speaking using the uh, the little girl Elizabeth's voice uh, to him, and she's like, uh, uh, and the troll's like, over here, Kenny. <laughs> I, that's a little bit creepy, uh, <laughs> even for an Ernest movie. Surprise! I'm actually surprised at how how creepy they did go for this movie. This movie could have been really lighthearted. Thank God it's not too lighthearted. Um, because I don't mind lighthearted, but uh, where I'm an adult, I prefer at least a little bit of intensity. And it's good that they did go with just a little bit of intensity for this film. But um, so. But then, like, when all the, when the main characters, every time the troll chases after him, like, the troll chases after Kenny, after, um, after he pretends to be Elizabeth, and then the troll starts chasing after him, well, the troll starts, the troll starts chasing after Kenny after the, after the troll takes his friend, turns him into a doll, and then the troll starts chasing after him, and this fucking milk truck just happens to drive by and saves Kenny, you know, milk again miraculously appears when you least expect it. But all the time at convenient places. I mean, like, milk uh, in this film always appears when you need it, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so conveniently. I just find that funny and stupid at the same time. But um, another kind of hilarious thing is that uh, Ernest uh, finally has had it up to here. He wants to take the troll out. Fucking, uh, the word milk is like, uh, the, the L is like, 
worn as you can't see the L in the book, but it's like a book. Uh, Eartha Kit has a book and it's like got how to kill the troll in it. And it tells you how, but the L in milk is like uh, it's like blurred out or whatever, and uh, he can't tell what it says and he thinks it's meak. He don't even know what the fuck meak is. I've never even heard of meak. I don't know if that's real or not. If somebody knows, please leave it in the comments. I'm very curious. But um, so he actually goes and gets some meak and tries to kill the troll with that at the Halloween dance at the school. <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Um, so Ernest uh, gets knocked down. Rimshot gets turned into a wooden dog, which is uh, kind of... <laughs> which is um, interesting because of uh, the funny quotes that uh, uh, fucking Jim Varney keeps making after the dog is turned into a wooden dog. The funny, goofy quotes. I mean, well, him turning... The troll turning the dog into a wooden dog is not, like, intense or anything, but... You know, I'd say if you're a kid, you probably feel sad about, you know, seeing Rimshot turn into a, a wooden dog. So, it's got a little bit of emotion there, I guess, if you're a kid. But, um, but you get really funny lines, like, after Ernest sees that uh, his dog has been turned into a wooden dog, he goes, somebody with a runny nose is gonna die. <laughs> because the fucking troll's nose keeps running, it keeps running through the whole movie. I thought that was hilarious, what he said. And then he, <laughs> he goes to the tree to take the troll out. He gets there, and by now the troll has enough souls, and all the other trolls start coming to life, and <laughs> the Ernest has to duke it out with all of them. He starts hitting them in the face with a fucking baseball bat and everything. It's uh, pretty decently entertaining. Another thing in this film is Ernest has, like, multiple personalities, like, nonstop, like, t ten personalities he does, like, switches to. Um, and then the kids show up there. And they want to help Ernest. They figured out that Milk kills the trolls. Well, Kenny did. And he, like, teams up with these other kids. And once again, you get, like, this really cheesy, shitty, heroic music with the kids whenever they show up. And the kids start throwing milk on all the trolls and everything. Start eradicating them. And you get this, um, this funny scene where these two trolls are, like, going to chop off Ernest's head. And uh, Jim Varney goes, uh, this is just the kind of Halloween prank that gets people hurt. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. And uh, the kid shows up and saves him, saves Ernest. And then uh, you get this other kind of cool scene where the troll's like coming towards Kenny, and he's got a fan behind him. He jerks out some powdered milk and like throws it behind his shoulder. It hits into the fan and blows on, blows onto the troll and kills him. <laughs> and then uh, then Ernest starts killing all the trolls with his like multiple personalities. He's got one that's like a lumberjack, and he like pours some milk down this hole, and it, like uh, it kills the troll. And then it like the smoke starts coming up out of it. He starts waving his hand. He goes, that milk must have gone bad. <laughs> I, I love that. That's hilarious the way he delivers it. Um, once again, can't do Jim Varney justice. Watch the movie. Uh, it's a fun little Halloween treat. Um, then you get to like uh, this really goofy shit where the troll like just gets more power by going into the tree and saying ancient evil demons make me stronger. Uh, it just reminds me of Thundercats when uh, Mum Ra like, just walks in there and he gets super powered up by getting helped by these uh, ancient creatures or whatever. <laughs> Where the enemy mum raw and Thundercats gets uh, gets powered up by getting helped by the ancient evil creatures or whatever. If I remember that show right, it's been a long time since I've seen Thundercats. That's what it reminds me of, in a way. Because, well, I'm a nerd for Thundercats. But, uh, anyway. Back to what I was saying. It's just like, and then he once he gets that extra power, the troll does. He's immune to milk. So if he could just do that the entire time just by saying that. Why would he even put up with the milk shit when he could just walk into the tree and do that the entire time? I'm like, but the uh, but whatever. The villains are moron. But anyway, and the troll, like his look, he's got like big long fingernails, and, like a really demonic look to him, and a really goofy runny nose all the time. So it's it's in, kind of intense. Probably would be for children, but not too frightening. I don't think. Um. Well, but shit, I mean, what do I know? I mean, it could give kids nightmares for centuries, or, or years, I mean, yeah, years. But uh, to me, I don't think it'd be too frightening for your kid. Maybe, like, real little younger kids, probably. But not, like, no, I wouldn't say, I'd say it wouldn't be too frightening for a 10 or 11-year-old. I don't, I don't think it'd be frightening for a 12 or 13-year-old at all, but I guess that just depends on the kid. But anyway... And so the troll now has, is, well, super troll. <laughs> he turns Kenny into a doll. 
he starts coming after Ernest, and then I don't really understand this fully. What kills the troll is like unconditional love. Like, um, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, I mean, uh, is it like you gotta love the troll anyway, or show him love even though he's been a complete jackass, or something like that? Is that what it is? And somehow unconditional love makes the troll explode or something for some reason. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so. Uh, I mean, is it like show the troll love no matter what, even though he's been evil, or no matter if he is evil? Is that what it is? And show him love anyway, even though he's done these horrible things? I fully get this. But uh, you get this funny scene, though, where Ernest figures out it is unconditional love, and he starts dancing with the troll. And he actually kisses the troll, and he gets, like, snot on his face, and he looks he goes, he looks at the camera and goes, eh that old lip movement thing he does. Once again, I can't do it, but it's funny as shit when he does it. And I love that. And then the troll's like fucking head explodes. And I'm like, oh, what the hell? But uh, <laughs> it's entertaining. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, and another, another funny scene I almost forgot is you got the two guys from Ernest Goes to Jail back in this, uh, Chuck and Bobby. I don't know if that's their characters' names in this one too, but you get this funny scene where they work at this store and it's all Ernest, all this troll equipment. And uh, he gets sold some troll away spray. And then when the scene where the troll is attacking the truck that Ernest is in, he uh, sprays the troll away at it. And it actually, it actually leaves. And he goes, oh, my God, I can't believe it. It actually works. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. That was so funny. Um, and then pretty much the film is the film is over. I mean, well, Ernest, uh, all, all the kids get turned back to normal, of course. Um Eartha Kitt, who's been, like, telling Ernest all the stuff uh, in the movie about the troll and everything, she shows up there, and she's got some old wooden, like, statues, um, old wooden carvings or whatever of the kids from back in the past who were turned into, turned into wood by the troll back in the day, and she turns them back into normal, or they turn back into normal after the troll's dead. Um, which you could do a whole spinoff movie about that, about them adjusting to life in the... <laughs> In the 90s. But uh, anyway. And so uh, Ernest is still sad though. Because Rimshot didn't turn. He, he thinks Rimshot didn't turn back to normal. But lo and behold Rimshot of course is normal now. And he runs up to him. And starts licking him on the face and everything. And Ernest is real happy. And that's cue in the movie. And it's a happy ending. And it's sweet. Uh, like I said. All in all. This film just up until. Up until the climax and the the, the real fun climax with Ernest first and all, fighting all the trolls and everything. Up until that, I would say that it's just an okay to okay to all right movie. And then by the end, I think in the, with the with the fun climax, that amps it up to a decent movie for me. It's just the little holes and stuff like that, and the, me not fully understanding the plot here. I don't think it fully comes through with the whole unconditional love thing, kills the troll. I mean, like, you know, why the fuck does that even work? But whatever. Um, but um, the milk thing, I can kind of understand with the unconditional love. That's a little hazy. Uh, but still, his, the troll's head blows up. That's entertaining. But yeah, like I said, this is a decent film. It's not a bad film by any means. This is not a bad film. But, uh, like I said, the end of it, what really picks up for the movie for me with Ernest fighting all the trolls. Um, but yeah, this is not a bad film by any means. I don't think, anyway. And I judge this film as, like, a lighthearted, you know, Halloween romp for younger audiences. And that's what I judge it as. Uh, but it's also entertaining to adults, too. Ernest makes me laugh my ass off with this multiple personality thing. And even playing like multiple characters and lines like that milk must have gone bad and shit like that. That cracks me up to no end. Um, but yeah, the, this is a really charming film for kids, I think. And definitely a really fun film to, uh, definitely a really fun film to watch on Halloween, I think. A really fun Halloween treat to watch on Halloween. Um, but yeah, this is a two and a half star film. This is a really... This is a really charming film, really charming Halloween treat film, and I do recommend it. Um, next review, I believe I'll be doing Ernest Rides again. I haven't seen that film in a, a good long while either. Most of these Ernest films I haven't seen uh, in a long time, but uh, I'm actually having fun, you know, giving giving them new watches 
you know, and seeing what I think about them nowadays, now that my movie knowledge and expertise has grown a lot since I was a kid. But yeah, as far as the Ernest films go thus far, this is not a bad one. It's better it's better than Ernest Goes to Jail and better than Ernest Goes to Camp. And I do recommend this film to Ernest fans, and I recommend this, pe uh, this film to people who just want to watch a fun little Halloween treat. So I'll see you guys again with the next review for Ernest Rides Again.